Guys, how we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna grease this John Deere 2025R. Now, if you do a lot of greasing, maybe you got arthritis, just sore hands, whatever it is, I got a solution for you besides just a typical pistol grip style grease gun. If you follow my channel, you've probably seen the lube shuttle grease system before, the pistol grip style, okay? It's an innovation really in greasing. I know that kind of seems maybe silly or too simplistic, but it really is a smart system. This is their electric grease gun. So I do wanna let you guys know, the guys over at Lube Shuttle sent this to me. Normally I pay for everything you see on this channel. I just wanna be upfront about that, but I was really excited to get this. Obviously here, tractor dealership, I do a lot of greasing, and so you get real sick and tired of pumping the grease gun all the time. This thing has proven to be a game changer. So not every used tractor is gonna come with manuals. This one though did happen to come with, you know, you got the tractor, the loader, and the mower deck manual. You can reference this. If your tractor does not come with manuals, at least with John Deere, you'll find these online. Just simply Google John Deere 2025 or whatever your model of tractor is, and then manual, okay? You Google that, the first link that pops up will be the exact same copy that you see here just online, okay? You can go right to different sections on there for maintenance or if you wanna check out controls. Whatever the thing is that you're looking for, you can probably find it online if you don't have a hard copy available. So you've probably seen this box before, maybe in the background of a video. Loop shuttle, okay? Just follow the link in the description below. You get 5% off with code GWT. No plunger, no air gaps, no, no leaking grease, no wasted grease, no time wasted. It's also recyclable you can refill the tubes as well. There's a lot of good benefits here. It's super easy to use. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Okay, so you're gonna have grease points on your loader, you're gonna have them on your mower deck, you're also gonna have them on your tractor. So again, reference your manual. You're gonna have quite a few here, a couple right here, a couple more here, a couple down here, and some loaders may have a few more, especially if you have a, uh, an MSL, a mechanical self-leveling loader you're probably gonna have more grease points there. All your spindles for your mower deck, typically they're gonna be a three blade mower, so you're gonna have three spindles that are grease points and then uh, the U-joints on the drive shaft for the mower deck as well. Also, most of the drive shafts on the uh, tractor itself are gonna have a U-joint in the back and maybe a U-joint in the front. There could be an extra position up here somewhere that's gonna be a Zerk for you to grease as well. Just check your manual, it'll be right there for you. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and grease. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, that's good. Take it off there. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right. Come down here. Okay. Okay. Right here. Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead, Luke. Okay. Okay, now come down all the way down here. We're just gonna do this one. No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'll tell you when, not yet. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Now hold that. Don't touch anything. That'll that'll be. Mom will be really angry. Okay, so we actually just ran out of grease there. No grease was coming out. Checked it really quick. I went ahead and pumped it a few times. You can see there's just very little at the end, but I'm hitting it right now. Nothing's happening. It's just out of grease. So time to change the cartridge. Gonna show you just how easy this is to do. First, I'll just show you a new tube. Okay, brand new tube right here. Comes with a cap like that. You can see the neck that's on here. It's a one inch diameter neck. It's very robust. That way it's not gonna break off. You're gonna see the silver liner that goes all the way around here though. That's just a protective cover. Uh, to prevent anything from getting damaged there, but it really doesn't need anything uh, to protect it. It's a very durable piece of uh, material here, flexible, pliable. It won't crush, you know, like if you accidentally stepped on um, a typical grease cartridge, you know, you pretty much ruin the darn thing. But these are, again, reusable, refillable, that kind of thing as well. Also recyclable if you want to get rid of them. I'm just going to go ahead and take the battery out just because, and then you take 
this cover off, just unscrew it like that. Comes off, piece of cake. Unscrew your spent cartridge. You can see, uses, I think, what does it say, 99% of the grease that you have in there as well. Very little waste. Set that down. Whoops. Take the new cap off. So what you want to do, you want to have it right up near the top, okay? So if it's not, you're just going to push the bottom just a little bit, okay? So just push up just as near the top because this operates with a vacuum-based system, all right? So you got to have it so that there's no uh, air gap in there. And just push it in, get it started. There we go. Cover on. There we go. And then let's see here. Oh, gotta put the battery back in. We'll put the battery back in. And then we'll see if we're good to go. Give it a second. Yep, we're back in action. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we got a few more here left to do. Go ahead, Luke. Okay. I am gonna save the drive shaft for when we are actually going through the cleaning process on the tractor. Go ahead, Luke. Just because uh, when we take that mower deck off, we'll have a lot easier access to both the front and the back side of the drive shaft there on the machine. All right, Luke, go ahead. A little bit more. There you go. Okay. Okay. Okay, Luke, we're on our last grease point here. Yeah. How do you know when to stop greasing? Have you figured that out yet? Yeah. What's the answer? When it starts coming out. When it starts coming out? Right there. Yeah, that's right. Good job. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Hey, good job. Good job. All right. Okay, so I just want to show you really quick. This is a case that you can get. You can get it with one battery or two batteries. This right here is actually a 12 volt, like a cigarette lighter, car charger type of plug that you can have as well. That comes with it, but you get the whole system here. Um, I'm not sure on the tubes of grease that you get with it, but just check on the website. Again, it's Loop Shuttle. The link is in the description underneath the video here. So I've said it before, but greasing is actually what I think the most important piece of maintenance that you do on your machine because you do it the most frequently. So you kind of have a real good look going around the machine and you can kind of see the front axle. You can look for damage, you can look for leaks, you can look for other signs of problems that might be going on. So it's just a good way to get in tune with your machine. You got to do this typically every 10 hours or so. It depends. You're not maybe using your loader every 10 hours that you have the machine on. So maybe it's just going to be the U joints that are on of the machine itself or if you're in the summertime using the mower deck a lot, that kind of thing. So it's a bit of common sense as well. But again, you get 5% off with code GWT. Go to Lube Shuttle, you can get the whole system right there, have it shipped right to your house. If you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that like button. Well, I guess if you didn't like the video, it's okay if you hit the dislike button, but I would also appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, follow along. Read through that description underneath the video, that's where you can get links to the Lube Shuttle system here, as well as a lot of other cool tractor products. Well, until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.